<coughs> derivatives of exponential and logarithmic functions. The most general derivative formula for the exponential function is shown below. If u is some function of x and a is greater than zero, then the derivative of a to the u equals a to the u ln a times u prime. Let's take a look at an example here, the derivative of 3 to the secant x, where a uh, 3 plays the role of a and the secant of x plays the role of u. And here I have it. In this case, a equals 3, u equals secant of x, and we know that u prime is secant tan of x. Well, because we have this formula, we can directly write the answer down. I've, what I've done here is I've retyped the problem. I put the formula here, and of course, a to the u is 3 to the secant x. The log of a is ln 3, and then of course, u prime is secant tan x, and you're done. In the next example, we'll look at... Uh, the logarithm here. The most uh, general derivative formula for the logarithmic function is shown below. The log of u base a, where u is some function of x and a is greater than zero, uh, is uh, u prime over u ln a, a very easy formula. Uh, in this example, we're going to look at the log of the square root of x minus 5 base 3. Now, this can be done very simply with logarithmic differentiation, and you can go watch those movies, but we're going to just do it straight by the formula here. In this case, uh, a equals 3, and u equals the square root of x minus 5, and of course, u prime is 1 over 2 times the square root of x minus 5. And now we can just apply the formula directly. I put u prime on top, u here, and the log of 3 here, and simplify a bit. You know, bring this up to the, bring this up to the denominator, and it becomes x minus 5, and you get this result, which is uh, the answer, okay, the derivative of this function, okay. Um, now, for special cases, like the derivative of ln u and e to the u, okay, you have to remember that the ln e is always 1, so that log of a just turns into 1 in each case. For instance, the, the derivative of ln x squared is going to be u prime over u uh, times 1 here. And you'll end up reducing it to 2 over x. Another example of that is um, when you have e to the sine x, uh, this derivative of this. By the way, here's a prime here. That's what that means. Take the derivative, and here we have prime here. And in this case, uh, it is e to the sine x times the cosine x, uh, and this ln e is just 1, so it just becomes e to the sine x cosine x, and you can leave that ln a off if you want.